I'm happy that uh, Studio Job is already 12 years old. I mean, I think that I sometimes talk with young designers who are now starting their careers. I would not like to be in their shoes. But having said that, when I was you know, 25 or 30, when I started Studio Job, I didn't, I didn't care a thing about the economy. I was not totally not busy with that, you know. I was involved in trying to make a statement in design or in art or, you know, in creation. So I think when you're really young and just starting, it doesn't really matter. But being in a crisis when you're already 10 years old, it's quite exciting because, I mean, and we had the big advantage of not having to slow down our business because, uh, you know, there was a new market appeared. There's still a lot of interest in our pieces. Okay, a lot of our folks or colleagues in the art design market disappeared again. They came up very quickly because they saw there was a market and then they went away very quickly because they saw there wasn't a market anymore. But you must understand that Studio Europe already had a body of work by then, you know. So, of course, a lot of collectors went on to other segments, but few collectors stayed and also few designers stayed or artists stayed. Uh, but I must say that I find it really interesting because the production, you know, the, the market has changed a little bit. So the sculpture is more accessible for a larger group of audience. Also, producers are ready to invest in it. And on the other hand, the market is asking for it. And that's exciting too. I mean, it's a very nice tightrope. Actually, Nick and I are really happy in what we're doing right now. Due to the so-called crisis, our market did not change a lot. Uh, I mean, we have a small company, but we have a global company. Of course, the market changed because all of a sudden the USA wasn't the biggest market anymore. But we are a very small machine, so we, a small ship, so we are lean and mean and we could easily, you know, interest another total new market appeared in the Middle East, in the Asian countries, in Russia, and, you know, and uh, I don't think our work changed, so that's good.